Hi friends, this is Denisha and welcome to my channel Dian's Paradise and I hope all are staying safe and healthy. In this video, I'll share the recipe of tender coconut cake and also I'll show the technique to do hand painting on whipped cream cake. Here I've done a very simple tropical leaves on the cake. With a similar technique, you can do any design or pattern of your choice. Let's begin with the recipe of the sponge. Before that, let's get our cake tins ready. Here I've used two tins of 7 inches. First, brush them inside with some butter. Line the tin with a parchment paper. And dust with some all-purpose flour. Invert and tap the tin to remove excess flour from it. The tin is ready, keep it aside. Moving on to the dry ingredients. Here I've taken 1 cup of all-purpose flour. From this I'm taking out 1 tablespoon of flour and replace with 1 tablespoon of corn flour. Then goes 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda and a pinch of salt. Sieve the mixture 2 3 times to remove any lumps. Moving on to the wet ingredients. First, separate 4 large size eggs. Beat the egg whites with 3 4 cup of powdered sugar. Add sugar little by little at a time and beat on high speed until they turn to soft peaks. This is how it should look. This is ready, now keep it aside. Now beat 4 egg yolks with 1 4th cup of powdered sugar. Beat until the sugar is dissolved completely and they look pale and frothy. Now add 2 teaspoons of vanilla essence. This is essence. If you are using extract then just use 1 teaspoon of it and beat again. Now goes 1 4th cup of oil which is 60 ml. Here I have used sunflower oil as it is flavorless and odorless. You can use any oil available with you or of your choice. Beat again for a minute or two on high speed. Then add the dry ingredients in batches along with 1 4th cup of milk which is in room temperature and keep mixing on low speed. Do not over mix the batter, beat them just until the flour disappears. Whenever you feel the batter is getting thick, then stop adding the flour and start adding the egg whites in 3 batches to it and mix again on low speed. Make sure to clean the sides of the bowl in between. Do not over mix the batter. If you are not comfortable using a blender to mix them, use a spatula and fold them gently. Mm -hmm. 
the batter is ready divide them equally by weighing or just eyeball and pour the batter in the cake tins here i've used 7 inch cake mold and by using two molds we can get four layers of sponge which will give a good height to our cake tap to remove any air bubbles from it now bake these in a preheated oven for 30 to 35 minutes or until they pass the toothpick test the sponge is ready and cool invert and take it out from the pan trim the top and the sides of the sponge and then cut each sponge in two layers To soak the sponge, here I've used coconut water with some powdered sugar to make it sweeter. If you wish, you can add sweet coconut milk. That's completely your choice. For the filling, I've taken half cup of chilled whipping cream, beat on high speed to form soft cakes. Here I'm using one fourth cup of tender coconut crush to give my cream the flavor of coconut. If you don't have crush, then you can use the pulp of the tender coconut, or you can use some desiccated coconut. Or if you have coconut essence, then you can use that to give your cream the flavor of coconut. Fold the crush into the cream gently. Time to assemble the cake. Here I've used 10 inch cake board. Apply some cream on the board and place the first layer of sponge. Soak the sponge with sweet coconut water. Once done, apply a layer of whipped cream on the sponge and spread with a spatula. Put some tender coconut crush on the cream and spread. Place the second layer of the sponge. Before soaking and icing the sponge, cover the sides with some cream. Now repeat the process with all the layers, and finally crumb coat the cake. Use very little cream on the sides and top to crumb coat. Use a scraper to scrape out excess cream. Once done, keep the cake in the fridge to set for fifteen to twenty minutes. Time for icing the cake. Here I have whipped around three fourth cup of more whipping cream for the icing. Always start from the top of the cake. Apply a good amount of cream on top, and with the help of a spatula, spread it to make it even. Then apply cream on the sides and cover the entire cake. Wherever you see gaps, holes, or cracks, apply extra cream over there and then start smoothing it. Use a bench scraper to scrape out excess cream from it. I 
Again, wherever there is gaps and cracks, apply extra cream over there. For straight and sharp edges, always keep the scraper straight and perpendicular to the turntable. Keep your hands steady and soft. Use your other hand to turn the table. This is not very difficult to achieve. If you whip the cream to the right consistency and practice regularly, you can easily get this correct. Once the sides are smooth, use a palette knife and cut the excess cream inside gently. Make sure to clean the palette knife every time you cut. As I mentioned in the beginning, I will be doing hand painting on this cake. So it's very important that the cake has to be perfectly set and chilled. So keep the cake in fridge for 45 minutes to 1 hour to set completely before we start painting on it. Instead of painting directly, use a toothpick to trace the outline for guide and then start painting on it. For best results, always use gel color for hand painting on whipped cream. Here I'm making very simple tropical leaves on them which will go very well with our flavor which is tender coconut. You can do and make any picture or print as per your creativity. If you are enjoying this video then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel then welcome. Kindly consider subscribing my channel for more such detailed recipe videos and also don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever I come up with new videos. The painting is done and this is how it's looking. If you wish you can design the top as well. But I have kept it very simple. Simply piped some cream from the sides and used some edible gold balls in the center. Time to cut and see our cake from inside. This is an extremely soft and moist cake. You can see how easily the knife is going through the cake. I'm a South Indian and I love coconut. And if you're like me, then you must definitely try this once. If you're trying this recipe or the design from my video, then don't forget to share me the feedback in the comments below. And also, don't forget to share me the pictures. I would love to see them. You can mail me or tag me to my Instagram or Facebook account. Details will be available in the description below. Here is my first slice of the cake it's absolutely soft and moist i'm going to enjoy this hope to see you all soon with another exciting video till then take care stay healthy and happy